pan's coming up to the heat. This isn't really thick, so we'll have the pan on high heat. Let's just quickly give this a pat. We'll get rid of the excess moisture. And then we're gonna get that seasoned olive oil with quality. Heavy on the seasoning. I'm just going to quickly transfer it onto this so I can give it a rub. Time the pan comes up to a heat, let's see the oil's gone, it's all burnt. It's on the reverse side as well. Meantime, you enjoy a good quality wheat beer, right? The darkness, there's a light is trying so hard to be seen. Beautiful buffet or flank steak, and here we've got the premium stuff. But I'll have that, the cheaper stuff, all day long, honestly. Cook it right, it's beautiful. This is obviously tender all the time, regardless of how you cook it. I mean, you pay the price for it. Non-stick. First time I'm using it, I have no idea. It doesn't look like non-stick. But we want to turn it over once every minute. This is already smelling beautiful, honestly. Basically what we want to get is a really nice crust on top of the steak. I mean this isn't a cast iron pan, if it was we would have had a better crust on top. But we can still live with that. The end result is going to be absolutely gorgeous, I can tell you that. 
got to send it, right? So we'll give it another minute on this side, then I'm going to turn it around one more minute, then when it turns around, then we'll just go in with the butter and a good amount of time. And that's all we have. I mean, we could do with a bit of garlic as well, but that's still fine. With the baguette, like I've mentioned before, you want to cook this to like a medium rare. Max you want to go is medium, otherwise your steak is going to turn out chewy. Um, so yeah, you don't want it rare, you don't want it well done. And then once the top side is still really nice and hot, we get another butter and just rub it all over it. And that's what's going to caramelize your steak. You get a lot of flavor. One more, two more. So here now, get a good bunch of thyme. Just dip that in and then just rub it all over it. Just whip it. Right, at this point, you get yourself a spoon. Just gently tilt the pan and all that butter, now you want to baste it. And the aroma from that time is just sensational. We'll just give it another minute on this side now. And then we can just let it rest for about perhaps three, four minutes. When you let your steak rest, you let all the juices come out and it's not gonna be tough. Because once you take it off, if you cut into it straight away, it's gonna turn out chewy. Very important you let your steak rest. Generally, you give it the same amount of time as you cook it. So if you cook it four minutes, maybe five minutes, you want to rest it for about five minutes. 
And then with the bavette, again, I've mentioned before, when you cut it, you cut it against the grain. So, if you come close, what you've, what you've got here, you have the grains all running down. You see from this side, it's all along here. You'll then be cutting it against the grain. And it just basically be softer. And essentially, when you let your estate rest, you see that heat is going to carry over that cooking process. So this steak is still cooking. So if it's still a bit raw in the middle, by the time you cut into it, it's perfect. Gonna give this another 30 seconds because this one is a thicker cut. We're going to come back in a few minutes when we're cutting into the steak. See you in a minute. Okay, so the last bit is still going. I'm just going to cut into that and then you fellas can dig in. really nice crust as you can see it's just purely because the pan is really nice and hot now you know that crust has formed really nicely on top of that okay. thank you so let's just cut into this and dig in so as we can see these are the grains running along here we want to cut against them And one thing, whilst this is resting, all of that juice there, that's not blood, that's protein. It's all flavor, so it all goes on top of the steaks. Then we're just going to blister the tomatoes, and we'll have the tomatoes with the bavette. That's our meal tonight. Jay, the cameraman, much appreciated. Thank you.